So everybody was fed up of Amazon blocking their favorite third party applications. They decided to jump ship over to Android TV. Well, would you believe it? As announced on the 25th of August, Google will now block sideloading of unverified Android applications starting next year. So this is not clickbait. This was reported on a few well-known websites. As you can see here, starting with this one saying that Google will block sideloading of unverified Android apps starting next year. And Google will say this is no different to checking IDs at the airport. So now they're doing it from a security perspective that if they can't verify these developers of these applications, then unfortunately you cannot install them onto these devices. Now I won't read the whole article here, but essentially they're saying that obviously the Play Store has been a lot more open than the Apple App Store. Apple have always been notoriously known for being, they're very closed off. They're extremely strict on what gets allowed in the Apple App Store. And it looks like now Google will follow suit and start implementing these measures on the Google Play Store. It says that the company described this as an ID check at the airport. And since they required all Google Play developers to verify their identities in 2023, it has seen a big drop in malware and also fraud. And this is the key point, guys. It says Google says that only apps with verified identities will be installable on certified Android devices, which is virtually every Android based device. If the device has Google services on it, it's a certified device. So I guess that means from a streaming point of view, all of your certified devices, your Nvidia Shields, your on 4K Pro, Thomson Pro devices, Xiaomi Mi Box, all of the certified devices, because they are certified, once this comes into effect, if the applications you try to install on these devices haven't been verified, and of course your favorite third party applications, your cinemas, your bees, your all your favorite ones, they're not going to have the certification. So it looks like they will be blocked from being installed on these certified devices. I'm sure people will try to find a workaround like currently with Play Protect, you can turn that off. So certain applications which are deemed as unsafe, you can just turn off Play Protect and that will then get around that particular issue. But, but it looks like with this new developer verification, they are going to make it really difficult for these third party applications to be installed on your favorite streaming devices. It says they'll begin testing off this in October this year. So I'm guessing certain devices will now have this feature enabled. And from that point forward, if the application you try to install hasn't been verified, it's just uh, not going to be able to be installed. So it is a, a massive shift. And one of the things that people love about Android TV is that generally it is fairly open. You can more or less sideload your favorite applications, just enable the installation of unknown sources. And you can pretty much install wherever you like, whether it's your favorite application giving you access to streaming content. Maybe it's an ad free version of you know YouTube or there's lots of things that people install on the Android TVs. But, but it looks like with these new changes, they are going to be really strict on what you can install on these devices. Now, article ends by saying that they don't explain what would happen if you try to install a non verified app or how these devices will check for verification status. But like with most things, we have to wait for this feature to be released and then you know, people can try and work out if there's any ways around it. Is there something you can turn off? Is there a service that you can potentially disable to stop this? Because ultimately these are your devices. If you've paid for a device yourself, then I should be free to install whichever application I like. I don't care about the security implications. I don't care about the safety implications. It's my device. I want to install it. But just like Amazon, these big players that really do want to control what you put on your device. And they always use security as a reason for it that these applications, if they haven't been vetted, they could contain malware. And because of that, we need to control these applications that get put on your device. Now, we can see some of the comments here. You can see people are very frustrated that if people wanted this kind of restrictions, they'll be using Apple devices. Now, the comment here says that this isn't about apps, it's about control. The feds want to be sure that they can track who's creating these apps, that they can control the spread of government disproved apps. So do leave me a comment below what you think about this, but you can see generally people are very, very frustrated where Android is now going to be more restrictive, really blocking out any applications they feel are not safe if they haven't been fully verified. So, and just on the other article, we can see on Engadget that again, similar kind of stuff. And Google are saying this is because they are trying to protect users from bad actors spreading malware and scams. So again, they're saying it's a security reason. That's why they're trying to enforce or lock down which applications you can use on your own devices. I think they actually mentioned here that this will start rolling out in late 2026 and it will start with these countries first and then a global rollout will follow at a later date. So it is pretty shocking guys, but in some ways you could say it's not a surprise because these big players are really trying to control and they're not happy with these third party applications, maybe because they provide access to certain content. 
Maybe they give you access to certain content without adverts, like YouTube, for example. There's lots of applications out there and Google wants to make sure that only the applications they approve of, you can install it on your devices. So very, very frustrating, but it looks like this is how it will play on the Android TV side. So that's pretty much for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this news. Are you fed up? Are you frustrated or do you not care? Really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.